Hello, what's up everyone? Today I'm going to show you how to open up your PS3 and actually get to the GPU and the CPU which are uh, the two units that actually break when you have the yellow light of death what happens is that the solder gets hot and what happens is that the thermal compound that is on the CPU and the GPU dries out and it doesn't connect with the motherboard um, so yeah, basically I'm going to just tell you how to put it apart, but I'm not going to actually show you putting on the thermal compound as um, I'm not actually going to attempt fixing it right now. And I'm actually going to sell this as a broken PS3 somewhere. I'll probably get about £60 for it. Um, so what you want to do, you're going to take off the back cover and take off this blue screw. What I do, I try to do it with my fingers because I don't put it up very tight. What happens is a lot of people try to uh, um, open them up when they tie them so much that the head's stripped and then it's like impossible to take it off. So you're going to take out the hard drive. I'm actually going to keep my hard drive and buy a new one because I want my save data on there. Um, because I'm going to buy a new PS3 in about, I don't know, a year. Because this year I'm pretty busy, I don't have time to play games. So this is the main part right here. You want to take off this thing here. What you want to get is a Torx driver. This is this looks much different than, this is completely different to a screwdriver. If you don't have this Torx driver, you will not get to the motherboard. This one is, this This is the um, Torx driver that actually stopped me from fixing it. I had a day, like a week of delay because I didn't have this Torx driver. It's a T10. When you go to a shop to buy this, it's a T10. So what you want to do, you want to put it in this hole. And actually, hold on. and turn anti-clockwise oh crap there we go um, so now what should happen is you actually slide it off and here we've got we have one two three uh, four five six seven and there's one small one here but don't worry about putting it back because there's a little s here so what I'm going to do right now is take off these uh, seven screws okay so I took off the seven screws and now what you want to do is take off this so I've got the fat uh, 40 gig model so what, there's a little button here that you click hold on and there it should just pop out take it off the locks now as you can see I've got nothing here I want to put this to the side Oops. and here you have Hold on. There it is. Here's your Blu ray. Here's your power supply. And this is the Wi Fi, I think, yeah. And the antennas here. Uh, so, what you want to do first of all is you want to undo this one right here. Take it out. Slowly lift it up. Only the left side. Because it's got a wire here, you don't want to rip this wire. You want to lift this little thing here. And you want to take out the wire. And slowly put your Blu ray onto the side. Now, what you want to do is go with the power supply now. Undo this. There we go, and what you want to do now is take off these, these two, 
and the one by the antenna. So we're going to go with the Wi-Fi now. So I'm going to do that right now. Alright, so I tipped them off, the three screws, they look pretty small, keep everything organized. Uh, you want to take this antenna, you want to, I'm going to have to put my camera down for this. Now I'll lift this wire from the power supply, I take the antenna, put it to the side, slowly lift this part here, because it's got another ribbon right here which for some reason wasn't even connected into my PS3 I must have made a mistake when I was putting it back in so that's a bad thing always remember to put the locks down on these to actually lock your wire in uh, so yeah that was a mistake that I've made you want to put your Wi-Fi to the side now we've got the power supply and the amount of screws here, we've got one, two, three, and four, five. And not this one here, this one's for something else. So five screws right now. I'm going to do that right now. Okay, so I took the five screws off. Now what you want to do, you want to turn it backwards and undo this wire. Hold on, let me put this camera down. There we go. You want to lift this out of these two things right here. And it makes it easier for you to take it out now. <coughs> so there it is, your power supply. You want to put it on with the screws. Once again, organization. So now what we've got here, um, now you want to put this cable to the side and undo this screw which I'll do right now. Okay guys, I took this part off now, what you want to do is take away the screws that are have pointing arrows towards them, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, if I didn't do that one. So yeah, I'm going to do that right now, and I'll be back. Alright, so I took off the eight screws, and one of them is pretty much longer than the others. These are the other ones. So remember that the longer one goes right here. Now what you want to do, let me put my camera down for this. Let's take the PS3 like that. Put it upside down. And take it out of the base. Put the base to the side and um, yeah, leave it upside down. So, as you can see, I'll put it out of the base. Now, what you want to do, you want to take off the fan. This is the main fan. If you haven't opened up your PS3 for a long time, then I suggest you clean it out with a towel, not a towel, but like some tissues, wet tissues, so that it doesn't get. Right, so that doesn't keep um, you know stuffed in with dust and stuff. All right, so what you want to do is take out this cable right here, and take it out of here. And now you want to take off these screws. There's a one, two, three. Yeah, three screws here. So I'm gonna do that right now. Okay, so I took off the three screws from the fan. That's what they look like. Once again, I have everything organized with what it's for. Alright, so you take off the fan just simply like that. It should come off. Put it to the side with your screws. And there it is, the empty space. And I believe the GP and CP are right here underneath this. All you want to do now is turn it back the way it was. And you want to take off the side. There it is, the size come off like that. And what the size got is just these main wires basically where the power comes in from. That's where the power supply goes. So I just put it by the power supply. 
Now what you want to do is take off these four screws with these. So I'm gonna do that right now. Okay, I took off the four black screws. They're the biggest one, the biggest screws here. Should I say the fattest screws? So you won't get mixed up. You wanna take off these now. Just put them to the side. Now, um, now what we wanna do is I literally have to physically hold a sec. I'm kind of confused now. I I haven't done this for quite some time. Uh, let me think. What you want to do now is you want to pull this little thing off and you want to take off the base. So pull these parts off like that. And there it comes off. Okay, so remember it, put it by the sides, I remember now. And what you want to go ahead and do now, this is the motherboard, the main thing. Um, what you want to do is, if I remember, you want to go ahead and literally physically bend these off. Yep, you have to bend them. They're not the pretty weak metal. So yeah, just bend it off simply. And now what you want to do is just simply take off these other parts. I've already cleaned them out for the customer that buys my PS3. It's a broken PS3, guys. Um, there it is. This is your CPU and your GPU. And basically what would happen is if you saw my other videos, my earlier videos of like Yellow Light of Death, just check it out on my channel, it's all down there. Um, even though how, there's also a video if you have, because what happened to me was basically uh, I was playing Call of Duty Black Ops and my PS3 turned off. And I didn't know what the Yellow Light of Death was but I didn't know how to deal with it and stuff and now I pretty much know everything about it. So there's a video of how to take out your CD if you have the yellow light of death. I've got a few views on that um, here because it's a pretty de decent video. So yeah, I've cleaned out these two parts. Um, if you have the yellow light of death the first time ever and you open this up, it will be so dirty. You will see a white layer of a thermal compound and there will be dried up stuff on the sides which you have to literally scoop off with a knife going on side to side taking off and taking a, um, some paper and cleaning this the best way to actually clean it is to put some no clean liquid flux underneath both of these and it's, it's really thick um, liquid flux uh, and basically what it does it cleans the it cleans it uh, all the dirt from underneath the CPU and GPU after that is done you want to heat up the whole motherboard with a heat gun, uh, I'll probably put it somewhere here at what degrees and after it's heated up then you put on your uh, thermal compound, the best thermal compound out is probably uh, Arctic Silver 5, I had it but I used it and yeah I threw it away but it's easy to find just search for it Arctic Silver 5 on the internet and you should find it and that will be done. Also, don't forget to clean out this pot before everything. This has to be clean as well, just like right now. And yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all you have to do. And if you want to see how to put it back after you do the whole process of fixing, it's also on my channel, How to Put Your PS3 Back. It's a reassembly video of the PlayStation 3. So that's it for now, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. And I won't be showing any gaming footage as I don't have a PS3. And I won't have one for the whole of this year, or should I say <clears throat> 2011 as it just started. So yeah, thanks for watching. And yeah, please comment, rate if you have any questions, ask me.